ever since I started studying the law of attraction and reading book after book on the law of attraction, I noticed one common thing that it's really important that you learn how to act as if you already had that which you want to manifest. Acting as if helps you manifest desires. When I first heard this, I, this whole concept of acting as if to help you apply the law of attraction, I was confused at first because I thought, well, how do you act as if you already have something if you don't have it yet? How does acting as if help you manifest anything? And it wasn't until I understood how, from Tony Robbins, that our physiology, whenever we move in a certain way, we change our emotional state. And when you change your emotional state, you change your vibrational frequency. And that's what I learned from Abraham Hicks, that when you ask for anything, it is given to you, but you have to allow it to manifest. And you allow it to manifest into your life by feeling good, by raising your vibrational frequency. That's how you align with it. And so I put the two together. I realized, okay, when you act as if you're moving your body in a specific way, and when you move your body in a specific way, you change your emotional state to a specific emotional state, to a specific vibrational frequency. And isn't that the law of attraction, aligning with... Uh, aligning your vibrational frequency with that which you want to manifest with a specific desire. So a specific vibrational frequency for a specific desire. Acting as if is a perfect way to get to that vibrational frequency, to that specific vibrational frequency. So it's not so much about a course of action of trying to figure out what to do in order to get something. It's the actions that you would be taking if it was already manifested. And that's what acting as if is. So you simply just need to ask yourself one question. What would I be doing today if I already had that which I want to manifest? What would I be doing today if I was already that person that I've always dreamed of becoming? Write down the list of all those different things that you would be doing. And try to write down the really small actions like I'd be smiling a lot more. I'd be a lot more confident. I'd be walking in a lot more confident manner. Different things like that, no matter how small it may seem, it can really help because it's all about aligning your vibrational frequency and moving your body in a specific way can help you do that. So if you think that the actions are too insignificant, too small, or too silly, don't think that. Even pretending, even acting as if, even uh, make-believing is is powerful because Mike Dooley said in his book, Manifesting Change, he said that pretending counts big time, that uh, there's people who became huge famous celebrities that would do this before they became successful. For example, Cher would sign autographs in front of a mirror before she became a famous singer. And that's a perfect example of acting as if, make-believe, pretend. It does count because it changes your vibrational frequency and it helps you align to a specific vibrational frequency. And the, the movements of your body doesn't have to be necessarily all that intricate or anything like that you can simply just smile you can simply sit up straight you can or you can jump up and down and dance whatever that gets you to lift your spirits so acting as if you just simply ask yourself what would you be doing today if you already had that which you want to manifest and then write down a list and perform those actions and notice how different you feel notice how different your vibrational frequency feels when you when you perform these certain actions also Eckhart Tolle said that if you perform any action, no matter what it is, no matter what task it may be, if you just do it for the simple enjoyment of performing that task and being in the moment without trying to get something out of it, that's called karmic action. And Eckhart Tolle said that when you're performing these little actions, you tend to attract helping factors. Another reason why it's important to act as if, because you're going to attract more helping factors, whether it be people, opportunities, ideas, guidance, synchronicity, coincidences, whatever it may be that can help you manifest your desires, acting as if can help you attract anything that can help you manifest desires. So simply just ask yourself, what would I be doing today if I already had that which I want to manifest? Whatever it takes for you to get you up and moving and acting as if you're already that person. And take notice of how good you feel. And that's when you know you're doing it right. That's when you know, when, once you feel that vibrational frequency rise, that's when you know you're getting to that specific vibrational frequency and you're aligned with that specific desire because you're moving your body, your physiology, changing your vibrational frequency. It can be tempting. It can be tempting to try to figure out exactly what do I do in order to get that. But... It's not about trying to figure out what to do to get anything. It's trying to figure out what you would be doing anyway. And that's what I mean by course of action. You ask that one question, what would you be doing today? Write down the list 
and perform those actions every day. And here's another thing. The more you perform these actions, the more automatic it becomes. Before you know it, you already are that person that which you've always dreamed of being.